With the recent sequencing of the human genome, the genetic blueprint for human beings, it is now possible to isolate genes responsible for various human characteristics. The temptation is to begin the process of engineering our own future evolution. All genes in every single living organism on the Earth are made with DNA. If you can give a mouse a jellyfish gene which makes the mouse glow in the dark, you can do the same thing with a human baby, although I'm not saying this should ever be done. It's mind-boggling to say that any biological property that exists anywhere in the living world, in any organism, could be brought into human beings. This is really quite, quite amazing. Scientists are partly to blame for the lack of knowledge because scientists always want to keep things quiet. They're afraid that if people understood where this technology could go, they would completely freak out. No rational academic scientist will admit to wanting to find genes that are going to be useful for enhancement. However, it's going to happen as a byproduct of the Human Genome Project. And then the question becomes, we'll have the knowledge, will people use it? There are so many potential benefits, such as protecting people from genetically inherited illnesses. But it doesn't stop there. If you go step by step through this process, you're basically replicating evolution, but you're doing it a million times faster. We know so much more about genes, for example, that determine physical attributes. The other kinds of things that are coming forth more quickly than we thought are mental characteristics. We already know of some genes that give somebody a predisposition to think in a certain way. Think in a certain way? Get ready for a brave new world, coming your way soon. Though scientists claim to have moral concerns about genetically enhancing humans, it is surely inevitable that someone, somewhere, will use the technology for this purpose. The problem is that there is no clear line between overcoming disease and providing enhancement. Such highly evolved superhumans will be far superior to their humble ancestors. Stronger, healthier, more intelligent. They will be as different to us as we are to earthworms. And if that's so, what's to stop them stepping on us? Scientists don't want to believe this, but anybody who studies genetics, you realize that 